Hello, everyone. This is John Thomas, the Mad Hedge Fund Trader. Uh, today with my global strategy webinar, the remaining big trading plays for 2019. Uh, we still have people piling in, so I'll give them another minute to get in so they can hear the entire presentation from the beginning. In the meantime, uh, there should be a question box or chat box on the right. Uh, if you can find it, just type in your first name, tell me where you're from, and how is the sound quality? And I'll wait a few minutes uh, for people to type their names in. Okay, I see Joseph from St. Louis, Missouri. I see uh, Julio from Miami Beach, Florida. George from San Diego. Robert from Seattle, Washington. Uh, ben from. Uh, Big Island in Hawaii, aloha. How are you today? I bet you're having some good weather out there. And uh, we have Bill from Incline Village, Nevada, must be a neighbor of mine on the lake. Uh, we have Joan from Chicago, Illinois. We have uh, another Robert from Bangor, Maine, and the names are still filing in. Okay. Uh, and if anyone can. Uh, has any questions to ask me, just type it in the question box. We'll try to get into it later when we uh, reach the asset class in question. So let me get started. Um, I'm John Thomas, the Mad Hedge Fund Trader. Today I'm broadcasting to you live from Silicon Valley, California, because I could not get up to my Lake Tahoe house. They've had 10 feet of snow in uh, the Sierras in the last weekend. Uh, it's been a real snowmageddon. 10,000 people trapped trying to cross the Donner Summit during a blizzard. So uh, I am kind of stuck down here in the lowlands uh, watching how, how great the snow is on TV. Okay, and I see the Fed just released the minutes. So I'll be watching the market with one eye while giving my presentation on the other. So moving forward. Uh, why listen to me? Why listen to John Thomas? Well, I do have 50 years of experience in the global financial markets, 10 years as the economist correspondent in Tokyo, Japan, and later the White House, uh, 10 years running the International Equity Division at Morgan Stanley, a little brief time out as a Marine combat pilot in Desert Storm, 10 years running the first international dedicated hedge fund, five years fracking for natural gas in Texas, and I still have oil under my fingernails from that little. Uh, investment. 12 years now publishing the Diary of a Mad Hedge Fund Trader. I am one of a small handful of founders of the modern hedge fund industry who are still working. So how would you like to gain financial independence for life? Discover how to make thousands of dollars every year in extra income by trading with my trade alert service. Go from a complete beginner to a seasoned pro in months. Learn, to quit, learn how to quit your day job and trade full-time for a living like I do. You can trade from anywhere, anytime. And this is a picture of me entering trade alerts from North Africa, where I went to a surfing school once. You can supplement your retirement income with the satisfaction of booking winning trades by the hundreds, as our many thousands of followers do. The harsh truth is that the majority of individual traders lose money trying to day trade. They lack the correct training and information to succeed. Most broker research suffers from grievous conflicts of interest. Wall Street is all about moving money from the uneducated to the educated. The easy solution to that problem is to uh, get educated yourself. Fidelity did a 20-year study. Oops, let me pull the phone on this. Let's see. Da, 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 da. And, uh, okay. and uh, Fidelity did a 20-year study and learned that their top performing investors were dead people. That's because dead people don't read research. <laughs> they don't take stock tips and they don't sell. In a rising bull market that's been going on for 10 years, Dead people are far and away the best performers. And by the way, if you are getting other newsletters, 99% of those uh, investment so-called newsletters are owned by marketing companies 
created by marketing companies for marketers. They have zero experience in Wall Street. They pick stocks by reading the newspapers or throwing a dart at a wall, and you will lose your shirt if you follow a newsletter uh, written by a person who's not a long-term Wall Street veteran. A uh, little bit about me. I graduated from college during the Vietnam War and went straight into government service. This is me at uh, parachute training school using a leftover World War II parachute. Believe me, when you hit the ground like that, you hit the ground like a ton of bricks. Uh, moved on to better and, uh, uh, and more interesting things. They said in those days when you joined the service, uh, you would meet lots of interesting people and go to a lot of foreign countries. And that is certainly what I did. This is me on a riverboat in uh, northern Burma pulling guard duty with some uh, gorillas we were supporting that day. Uh, of course, at the end of my government service, I ended up with a drawer for, full of medals, which I pull out once a year on uh, uh, Veterans Day. I did get my Navy flight wings and a uh, few other odds and ends. Thank you very much, U.S. Marine Corps. Uh, of course, I did travel a lot at an early age. I've been to over 135 countries. I've been traveling around the world since 1967. This is me uh, on a boat, on a ferry in uh, Sydney Harbor. This is me on the same exact boat last year. Uh, notice uh, everything is the same except me, who has aged a little bit. Yes, the years have not been kind. Uh, during the 70s, I wrote a book about World War II, started out in Japan, did the Marine Corps islet, island hopping uh, campaign in reverse. Uh, the book was a tribute to my uh, uh, father who was on Guadalcanal and my uncle who won the Medal of Honor on Guadalcanal. And to kill time, we used to find bombs like this, uh, get a case of beer, build a fire, throw the bomb on the fire, and run like hell. It was exciting to say the least. This is on Saipan where the massive Japanese suicide uh, took place once we captured the island. Uh, also got to uh, cover China during the Cultural Revolution. Met people like Chairman Mao and the other big wigs in the Chinese leadership. Uh, and notice how thin I am in that picture. That's because there was a famine going on. There was no food in the city. You couldn't buy food for all the tea in China. <laughs> it's the one, the one thing you cannot replace in life is food. Believe me. I wish I could fit into that sit suit today. Uh, what I learned in those early days is that the information I was getting was so valuable that uh, uh, it was a kind of a waste just writing stories for the Economist newspaper about it or the Economist magazine. So I started trading off of it and I started making quite a lot of money off information I was discovering in the field. Suffice to say, I've been trading for my entire life, more than 50 years. Uh, this is one of my early jobs on the floor of the Tokyo Stock Exchange. Five surprises of 2019. Uh, the government shutdown ended. The Chinese trade war may be about to end or get extended for three more months with no increase in tariffs. U.S. makes no move to impeach Trump, focusing on domestic issues instead. Britain votes to rejoin Europe, ending Brexit. And the Trump investigation concludes that he has an unpaid parking ticket in New York from 1974, and that's it. Uh, all of the above are hugely risk positive and triggered a monster global stock rally, which continues to this day. The big question is now what do we do? This time it's different. We are seeing a shift in stock market leadership out of technology into commodities. The tech stocks provided the market leadership for the great 2015-2018 stock move. Uh, that was powered by a strong dollar. Uh, with U.S. interest rates peaking, uh, we are looking for a weak uh, dollar going forward. As long as the Fed is on pause, and they may be on pause for the next three years, we are going to have a weak U.S. dollar. That means you want to be looking only at weak dollar plays. That would include gold, commodities, and oil. China trade war settlement, which could be weeks off, will pour the gasoline on this trade. Yeah, recovering China, fantastic news for commodities. China is the world's largest marginal user of every kind of commodity you can possibly think of. And that's me at an abandoned gold mine in Arizona. 
I do tend to get around a lot. What the smart money is doing now, focusing on the highest quality value stocks that are trading at bargain basement levels, hedging out downside risk with options and bear ETFs for the main market, you know, the Dow Jones or the S&P 500, buying gold on dips for a return of a weak US dollar and inflation, buying other weak US dollar plays like emerging markets, commodities, and energy. Uh, and if you're wondering why I'm in such a good mood in that picture, it's because I'm doing aerobatics in a P51 Mustang. If you don't know what a P51 Mustang, that this is it. It's a World War II fighter with a 2,000 horsepower engine, uh, has amazing power, flies sort of like a jet, even though that's a 16-cylinder uh, engine. Uh, and when I get bored of flying my P-51 Mustang, I go to England and I fly a Spitfire, World War II Spitfire. This is one of the only training uh, Spitfires in the world, and you can rent it by the hour for a mere $5,000 an hour. Cheap at the price. Uh, the secret weapon to my performance is an artificial intelligence-driven algorithm that uh, analyzes 30 different economic, technical, and momentum-driven indicators every second. This is my mad hedge profit predictor, my market timing index, and this has allowed me to make fortunes. If you want to use this algorithm, you can do that, and you can make fortunes also. Why do you need an algorithm? Well, why use a toolbox missing its most important tool? Algorithms have become so dominant in the market that you should never trade without one. My algorithm does the work of a seasoned 100-man research department in seconds. It runs real-time and optimizes returns with the addition of every new data point far faster than any human can. Imagine a trading strategy that upgrades itself 30 times a day. That's what this one does. Don't go to a gunfight with a knife. If you're trading against algos alone, you will lose. Algorithms provide you with a defined systematic trading discipline that will enhance your trading profits. And just to show you how valuable algorithms are, I found this yacht. It's not my yacht. Uh, it's a mega yacht I found parked on the waterfront in Miami. Uh, and it's named Algorithm. Wow, how do you think they earn the money to... Uh, to buy that boat. Uh, yeah, everyone is trading. Approximately 90% of all trading volume every day now is conducted by machine-driven algorithms. Uh, this shows you how our algorithm is done over the last three years. Uh, when we get uh, very high readings in the indicator, it's a sell signal for the market. Low readings, we get a buy. You get enough round trips every year to make quite a lot of money. And uh, currently, we are moving toward the high end uh, into sell territory, risk in the markets right now is very high. Now, just to show you how our algorithm is done over the last three years, this is what the S&P 500 has done, up 59%. We are up 113% during the exact same time frame. That's double the S&P 500 performance with a lot less volatility. No, notice that we uh, go sideways, spike up, go sideways, spike up. No major drawdowns at all. Nothing more than about 5 or 6% at any given time. So uh, what freaks out traders, beginning traders the most, is a, is a sudden sell-off in their positions. They freak out, sell everything at the bottom, and then watch it go right back up again. You have an algorithm telling you what to do, giving you the confidence to make these moves. That doesn't happen. Another reason to uh, be interested in commodities, stocks are very, very dangerous now. We're just 5% of an all-time high. Market is setting up for a potential double top, you know, top in uh, end of September, uh, top maybe sometime in March, and then that could be the end of the whole bull market for the last 10 years. After that, see you on the other side of the next recession and bear market. So don't initiate new longs right here. Uh, unless they're in the right sector. Uh, precious metals I'm calling trade of the year. Gold has already broken through to a new high as investors look for risk-off positions and flight-to-safety hedges. 
Central banks have become the principal buyers of gold in 2018. They bought 264 metro, metric tons last year, and that buying is increasing sharply now. Russia and Turkey have been dominating purchase with Poland joining the fray. Bitcoin uh, stole gold's thunder in 2017. Uh, that's why gold did nothing then. Since then, Bitcoin has crashed and all that money is coming back into gold as a real store of value. Bottom line here, buy every dip in gold and precious metals for the rest of the year and possibly for the rest of the decade. Uh, just to show you how our algorithm works, I, I'm uh, showing you the buy and sell signals uh, at the specific time in the charts where we got them. Uh, back in 2012, we had a big sell single in gold. It was uh, entering a seven-year bear market. We stayed away. Uh, that bear market ended the beginning of 2016, and since then we've been buying every dip. And, of course, we caught this entire move here, this upside breakout, and that's now a major source of profits for us. and be a major source of profits for you, too. Uh, this is the shorter-term chart to show you where we're getting the signals and where the breakout is happening. Got the buy here, quasi-double bottom here, and that allows you to get a major breakout to the upside here which we are seeing. Um, gold miners also do extremely well in this situation. This is an eight year chart, pretty much following gold tick for tick, but with a lot more volatility. We got the sell here back in 2012, the buy in 2016, and the buy now uh, at the end of last year. And they also are break, about to break out to the upside. Uh, Barrick Gold, of course, you wanna buy gold miners. Uh, uh, the, the new ticker symbol for this is G-O-L-D. They bought Rand Gold uh, resources and took over their ticker symbol. And again, a lot more volatility. At one point at the bottom, Barrick Gold was down 80% from its 2011 high. After a long basing period and inverse head and shoulders, uh, if you follow me long enough, you'll know what all this means. You're getting a major upside breakout. That's where your trade is for 2019. And what do you need to dig a gold mine? How about a big Caterpillar D9 tractor? Yep, they are doing well too. Uh, so we got a buy signal here back in uh, the, right after the election uh, in 2016. Got a double out of that stock, got out the top, went back in down here, and uh, now we're catching a, a imminent upside breakout in Caterpillar buy the dips on this baby, you'll make a ton of money here also. Uh, energy, we are seeing a new bull market in energy or oil specifically, not in natural gas. Uh, China is the world's largest marginal new buyer of oil. Massive stimulus there will revive the economy and substantially increase oil demand. U.S. is still infrastructure constrained on uh, production expansion. It seems nobody wants a natural gas pipeline in their backyard, so infrastructure is being delayed, and OPEC has reformed along a Saudi-Russian axis, enabling more price control by OPEC. So bottom line, buy the bottom, buy every dips. Uh, we have a major move going on in oil, which is not too late to get in on. Uh, Chevron has been my favorite oil stock, bought the bottom back here in 2017, got out here at the beginning of 18, and now we got a major buy single from our algorithm here uh, at the end of last year. And looks like we're about to get a major upside breakout there also in Chevron. Uh, here's the price of oil itself with our market timing indicators. And you can see this room here to go up to about $80 a barrel. Uh, ExxonMobil, if you want dividend plays that are safe and have little volatility, Exxon is your favorite. This is a favorite of widows and orphans, 4.3% dividend. And of course, we bought the uh, two double bottoms here, this spike down here in 2015, and this spike down here during the Christmas Eve massacre. We're now poised to break out to the upside uh, on the rising price of oil. Uh, and if you want to do a safer play in energy, you buy a basket of energy stocks, the XLE. That includes uh, Exxon Mobil, Chevron, Schlumberger, Kinder Morgan, EOG Resources, and ConocoPhillips. Uh, 
after the sell, got to buy here, buy here. All, you know, identical chart for everything across the entire space. All of this is anticipating much higher oil prices. Uh, another uh, commodity trade, uh, which most people are not familiar with, is copper. Uh, China coming back online means a new bull market in copper also, which is known as the red metal. Uh, you know, bought the bottom here in 2016, and we are buying it now. Uh, and there are a lot of uh, great stocks that are copper plays, uh, and we uh, follow those very closely. Uh, foreign currencies, uh, another play to do this year. Continued dovish Fed drags heavily on the dollar. That's a big positive for weak dollar plays like gold, the Australian dollar, and emerging markets. British pound is staging a huge rally off the possibility that Brexit may fail. Massive Chinese economic stimulus is driving the yuan higher. Bitcoin is out of business at 3,400. Bottom line, sell dollars by the Australian dollar which is poised to make a 40% move to the upside. Yeah, it's looking to go from 70 to a dollar, one-to-one -one or parity. Uh, here's the uh, dollar basket ETF. Uh, we sold it here, bought it at the bottom, and this is topping out right now. The next major move will be down for the U.S. dollar as long as the Fed is not raising interest rates. Australian dollar looks the best. Uh, this is your best commodity currency of all. If rising commodities go up, the Australian dollar goes up and looks like the two will go up hand in hand. We'd be buying it right now, very close to the bottom. Uh, again, potential 40% move there. Merging markets also do well in a weak dollar and rising commodity prices. So that's another way to participate in the game. We got the 2016 bottom. We got the end of the uh, end of year bottom there. Now we're looking for a major breakout to the upside, continuation of a two-year bull market there. Uh, looking for another trade to do outside of commodities, you can always go out and sell short the bond market. Uh, in January, we had a huge risk-on move in global financial markets that created a flight to safety bid that took yields all the way down to 65 basis points. Uh, to 2.6% on the 10-year. That creates a great entry point for short positions in the world's newest decade-long bear market. U.S. government borrowing is about to double from $1 trillion to $2 trillion this year, and it could be even higher if we start to go into recession. Uh, interest payments to become the largest U.S. government expense within a decade. That means our interest burden will get to $900 billion in 10 years, far outpacing the current size of the defense budget. That all happens by 2028. Exploding deficits will weigh heavily on bonds for the next decade, sell short every four-point rally in the TLT, and we have been doing that like crazy. Uh, we've done five round trips in the bond market this year, all on the short side, everyone profitable, uh, and we are looking, we've been selling bonds since the middle of 2016, August 2016, selling every one of these rallies and making money, and now we're on the verge of a major breakdown. So again, this is your major short play in the market going forward. Uh, it's like having a rich uncle write you a check every two weeks. Uh, here's the interest rate chart, and again, we, uh, uh, we're currently at about 265 on the 10-year today and that chart is about to go sharply higher, most likely in the second half of the year. If you want another alternative investment opportunity, you can take a shot at Tesla. Uh, Tesla's, Tesla 3 production will hit 400,000 units this year. They're uh, building a second factory in Shanghai, which will take them over 500,000 a year. U.S. electric car sales have risen from zero 10 years ago to 4% of all sales today, that goes to 100% in 20 years. Yes, in 20 years, we'll have an all-electric new car market. Tesla's already outselling all premium car brands in the U.S., including Mercedes, BMW, and Jaguar. Uh, many countries and U.S. states have banned the internal combustion engine by 2020 or 2030. So driving with gasoline will be illegal <laughs> in 20 years. Uh, I think electric cars do well in that situation. 
Tesla will become the world's largest car company within a decade, causing the shares to rise 10 or 20 fold. Yes, Tesla could be the next trillion dollar company. We originally got in the stock after the IPO uh, went bust here, it went from $30 to $16.50. We bought it there, rode it all the way up to $394. We got out. Since then, it's been in a sideways move. However, now we're using every substantial dip to get back into the stock because we expect a major blast forward. Uh, yes, this could be a $2,500 stock uh, sometime in the future. The returns on this will be enormous. Uh, this is my latest Model X. I've had three of them now. This is the 149,000 fully tricked out with ludicrous mode. That means the car can go from zero to 60 miles an hour in 2.9 seconds. The only problem with that is that your passengers tend to get seasick with that kind of uh, acceleration. So we carry a lot of airsick bags that we get off the airlines. I'm kind of immune. I'm a combat pilot. Uh, motion sickness doesn't affect me, but uh, not so much for kids. Uh, this is my first Tesla, and I was going to save it. Uh, this was chassis number 125 until a drunk driver crashed into me on Christmas Eve and totaled the car. I got out, took the guy's picture, and walked away and took an Uber cab home. Uh, and then we took it to the shop and completely took the car apart. A lot of people write about Tesla. Very few people have actually taken these things to pieces. Here you can see the 1,100-pound lithium ion battery pack underneath the back seat. In 10 years, that'll be a 100 pound battery pack that only costs $1,000. Here you see the carbon fiber uh, honeycomb inside the wheel wells. That makes it the world's safest car. Um, and it really was quite fascinating. 80% fewer parts than a conventional car. <clears throat> so what do we do about all this? Well, Stocks, you want to sell the rallies. Bonds, you want to sell any and all rallies. Commodities, buy the dips. Energy, buy the dips. Currencies, sell the U.S. dollar, buy the Aussie. Precious metals, buy the dips, especially gold. If you are not up 32.9% in the past 12 months as I am, you are reading the wrong newsletter or following the wrong trade mentoring service. 32.9%, that's our trailing 12-month return. During this time, the absolute return on the index is very close to zero. Yes, we beat the market by 32% in a year. Uh, if you think I've just been lucky, that's our nine-year return, uh, averaging 34.12% a year. Yes, it's getting harder to make money every year. Uh, now we're in the 10th year of the bull market, so returns have been going slight uh down slightly but we are well into double digits uh with that kind of trading performance which you can obtain through buying my service you get to live in a mansion on a hilltop in san francisco just like this one that's where i live in fact i travel around the world all the time i have three homes around the world spend about four months a year in each one so here's my san francisco home that is my chalet in Zermatt, Switzerland, and I'm typing out a trade alert just to prove I can you know, issue trade alerts anywhere. You can see the Matterhorn is in the background. Uh, and my third home is at Lake Tahoe, where I tend to spend the winter. I uh, like to do a lot of snowshoeing, generally snowshoe all the way around Lake Tahoe every winter. It's about 160 miles, uh, and it is a great place to focus on work and do a lot of research. Uh, that's what Lake Tahoe looked like last week after 10 feet of snow, uh, and it's probably twice as high uh, right now. Uh, when I'm in Switzerland, I always take time off to climb the Matterhorn once a year just to prove I can do it. Uh, every year I try to win the prize for the oldest guy to climb the Matterhorn. Every year this German guy beats me who's three years older than me. So hopefully he'll die off one day and I'll win the prize. But that's probably not likely if he's climbing the matter on every, every year. He's, he's got to be in incredible shape. Uh, how do I get to Europe? Well, I don't bother flying airplanes. I take the Queen Mary and not just any old place on the Queen Mary. I take the owner's suite. 
Yes, a 2,400 square foot, two story cabin on the rear of the ship. Uh, nothing like traveling first class, all paid for by my trading algorithm and my trade alerts. And how do I get from uh, Southampton to uh, Switzerland? I take the Orient Express. Uh, every night is black tie, uh, uh, and occasionally people get murdered. <laughs> Actually, last time we, we hit a wild boar on the track. Uh, and of course, the way to beat traffic is to take helicopters everywhere you go. And of course, if you're an expert trader, uh, which you can do with my service very quickly, uh, helicopters are no problem. And of course, once a year, I like to enter my vintage Rolls Royce into the Concours de Elegance vintage car competition at Pebble Beach. It's a lot of fun there to mix with the movie stars like Jay Leno and so on. So yeah, you can do quite a lot with trading. Uh, uh, also, I fly vintage airplanes. Uh, old, any uh, old uh, Navy or Army people recognize that as a Boeing Stearman. That was a World War II trainer. Uh, that is a 1952 chipmunk. That was the primary trainer of the Royal Air Force. Uh, again, a tailwheel plane that can only land on grass. So what's the very long view in this game? Well, the 20, 2000s and the 2010s were the hard decades for making money. The 2020s and the 2030s will be the easy ones as a global demographic wave brings on a new golden age. 85 million millennials become the next big spenders over the next 15 years, while 80 million baby boomers, a drag on the economy, fade from the scene. And that's me and Zermatt watching climbers come down uh, that morning. Uh, this is what the Dow average did from 1982 to 20, uh, 2000. It went up 20 times exactly from 612,000. Are you ready for a replay? Well, if we get the same replay as we got in the 80s, and there's no reason why we shouldn't. In fact, technology is advancing far faster now than it was 40 years ago. We'll get the same 20-fold return off of the 2009 bottom. That'll take us up to 120,000 in the Dow by 2027. Uh, so it's still early days. We just have to get through this next recession. It'll be off to the races. Anything you do in the 2020s, it's going to make you look like a genius. Making money will be like falling off a log. So who will show you how to play the next 90,000 Dow points? Sit with me, John Thomas, the mad hedge fund trader, and my global trading dispatch. Discover how you can tap into the top performing trade mentoring service in the industry, up 32.9% in volatile markets. Follow my research and market beating trade alerts, and you will rake the profits in. Let a Marine Corps combat pilot steer you to big profits. Uh, we trade single stocks and options and ETFs for global equities, bonds, foreign exchange, energy, commodities, precious metals, and real estate. And that is not the plane I flew in Desert Storm. The one I flew was a little bit bigger. This is a 1932 de Havilland Tiger Moth. Notice the design flaw, gas tank right over your head and no brakes. That's why you can only land on a grass field. Yeah, 1932, the planes were a little bit dodgy. Uh, this is a typical trading record for one month. Uh, you can see we uh, had 11 trades that month. 10 of them were profitable. Uh, we bought the S&P 500, made 16%, sell, sold short U.S. Treasuries for 8%, then bought the Russell 2000, Amazon, Apple, bought Biogen, and uh, stopped out of Biogen the next day due to a certain presidential tweet. Yes, we stop out of losers very quickly because we know that 90% of the time the next trade is going to be a winner. Then we went on to sell, to buy Palo Alto Networks, sell short the yen, sell, sell short treasury, buy the S&P 500, and we bought gold. So the resolution, the China trade war will be about to end. It's just a matter of time before commodity stocks break out to new highs, and they're doing that right now today, in fact. Watch this space melt up going into the end of 2019. Get ready to start re reeling in those whoppers with Global Trading Dispatch as your guide.
Uh, and yes, that is a 24 inch trout that I caught in Pyramid Lake in Nevada. Here's how it works. Last year we saw Micron Technology was getting ready for a breakout, you know, nice little double top there, fantastic fundamentals. So we sent out a trade alert. It says buy Micron Technology at $42.01. It's an opening trade. Put 10% of our money in there on a model $100,000 portfolio. That meant 238 shares. What happened? Well, we got a 15.63% profit in 15 trading days. The double bottom call turned out to be correct. So uh, we bailed right at the double top. And that was a very successful trade. We ended up making $1,563 in just 15 days. We sent out a trailer, take profits, sell Micron technology, um, and that's the profit we made. With my Global Trading Dispatch Service, you get a daily research newsletter, instant trade alerts sent out at market sweet spots, about 200 of them a year, and the reasons to execute them, live by weekly strategy webinars with a Q&A, special reports on urgent investment topics, invitations to strategy luncheons around the world. I do about 25 a year. More educational videos and webinars than you could consume in a lifetime. Access to a 10-year database on investment ideas. Uh, and I'll even give you the name of a good surfing camp in North Africa, warning it's a lot harder than it looks. This is why I'm not going to charge you for this service. I'm not going to charge you $100,000. That's what I charge my big hedge fund clients, and they're happy to pay because I make them millions of dollars. And I'm not going to charge you $10,000. That's what I charge my concierge clients who get my personal service uh, and cell phone number so I can be their investment 911. And I'm not going to charge you $5,000. That's what I charge my advanced option trading clients. And I'm not going to charge you $3,000. That's the full retail price on our website, which you can pay right now. Uh, and I'm also not going to charge you $2,497. That is a special discount for first-time buyers only. Uh, today and only through this webinar, creating this product cost me millions of dollars with the best customer service in the industry, running it cost me millions more. Yes, we're probably uh, uh, the last people around to use live humans uh, in, uh, in customer support. This is a limited time offer. Let me make the money for you to pay for your subscription. You make the trades, discover how an experienced hedge fund manager finds and exploits the best sweet spots in any market. So I'm going to go through a few of these testimonials. I'll take some of your questions in the meantime. Uh, here's a question from John. Uh, with the German economy going into recession, is a good time to short the euro? Uh, <clears throat> no, you don't want to short the euro here. First of all, it's very low. Second, the U.S. also is not raising interest rates for six months, possibly as long as three years. That means you have a weak dollar and a strong euro. If anything, you want to be buying the euro than selling it. Uh, George in Austin, Texas wants to know, when does your letter come out every day? George, it'll be in your inbox well before the market opens every day. Uh, so you have time to act on it. Uh, Ivan in Portland, uh, Maine wants to know, how would you describe your trading philosophy? Uh, Ivan, I use fundamentals for my long-term call and technicals for my short-term execution. That's what every long-term professional does. Uh, Roger in Richmond, Virginia wants to know, do you offer training with your subscription? Uh, the answer is we include more training than you could use in a lifetime. Every trade alert we send out uh, includes a link to a video that shows you exactly how to execute that trade. Uh, okay, here's one from Palo Alto, California. You obviously have enough money. Why are you doing this? I love questions like that. Teaching people how to make money and secure their financial future is the love of my life. 
when I was on Wall Street, I used to see so many people get ripped off by brokers that made me sick. This is the chance, chance for me to level the playing field for you, the regular guy. Uh, okay, let me, got more questions here. Um, uh, Jim in Dallas, Texas, are the trade alerts for stocks, ETFs, or options? Uh, Jim, it's all of the above. Every trade alert gives suggestions on all three of these, so you can tailor the trade alert to meet your specific experience and risk profile. Uh, Joe in Detroit, Michigan, I have never done this before. Can a beginner start with no prior experience? Uh, absolutely, Joe. Bringing in beginners into the market for the first time is one of the primary goals of this service. Uh, okay, another question. Joel in New York City, how often is the newsletter sent out? Uh, Joel, every day the market is open about 250 times a year. Uh, here is another one from somebody. What's your favorite tech stock? Uh, Long term, I would go with Salesforce. I would get into the chip stocks this summer, like NVIDIA and Micron Technology. And I don't see how you can go wrong with PayPal right now. Uh, okay. Um, moving forward here. Uh, is the strong dollar over? Answer, yes. As long as the U.S. is not raising interest rates, the dollar is going to go absolutely nowhere and could actually go down quite a lot. So avoid the dollar and go with your foreign currency plays, Australian dollar and the euro. Okay, let's see any more questions looking through here. Da, 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 da. Um, uh, will the market be up or down this year at the end? I'm looking for maybe a... Uh, we just had a big up, next we have a big down, then we get a rally. We could end up on the year maybe plus 5%. Not much movement from here. Uh, okay, let me just skip through this uh, testimonial here. If you buy my service today, uh, I'll give you a free copy of my best-selling book, Stocks to Buy for the Coming Roaring Twenties. Uh, it's in our store now for $49. Many of these stocks have already doubled in value. Buy the book before they double again. And again, with our service, it comes free. Also, if you subscribe to our service today, I will immediately send you a trade alert, which you can execute right now while the market is open. Uh, and 90% of these trade alerts make money immediately. So there's a very high chance you can pay for your service for the entire year just on this one trade alert. Uh, take the opportunity. And just to tease you a little bit, this is the chart <laughs> that I'm recommending. I took the name off. Um, you have to buy the service to find out what it is. But this is a stock ready for a major upside breakout and possibly a bull move for the entire rest of the year. Subscribe, subscribe now to find out. You have to go through a thousand charts to find one this good. Let me do the heavy lifting for you. So again, uh, this is the offer you can't refuse, one year for just $1,997. That's it for today. This is John Thomas, the Mad Hedge Fund Trader, signing off for today. Thank you for attending today, and I look forward to working with you for the coming year.